This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Razi Alkane. I'm back with another tour review and today Peach Girl from Mukodu Toys and or just Mukodu. Mu Mukudu, sorry. Uh, this is something that I bought from magicsquare.com on their collaborations tab. They had this in Blueberry Girl. So I did, it's their version of RC and it looks really good. It's like those, I don't know, my, I have a you know strong anime doll uh, vibe from this. Like it's really, that's what it is. And you know, the big head and it, okay, I'm gonna confess, I used to watch Sailor Moon when I was uh, younger and when they would have like those inner thoughts and animation, those big head, that's what this reminds me of. Cause I don't watch that much anime anymore, but, you know, I like those. And she transformed. And that's, it's really, actually, there's a couple QC issue with my copy. I hope not everybody has that problem, but uh, I'll uh, I'll just go over and show it to you. But it's uh, a very nice figure and it's cute. And even my wife was like, yeah, you you can get that. You, can, you should buy that. It's really cute. So, you know, the wife commanded it. So there you go. So before we do, you check the review, uh, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Also the interview playlist, something very interesting that you might enjoy uh, to hear from the actors themselves. And check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. Uh, if you're in the local Ottawa area, you can uh, just you know pick up uh, in uh, directly from his house or his warehouse. And, uh, or the shipping, he wraps things up really nice and uh, you, know, you won't have any problem with that sort. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Let's go with uh, everything that's in the box, or actually the box. So it looks really good. Uh, Mukodu toy, uh, Mukudu toy. Uh, I don't know much about them. I don't collect a lot of uh, third parties, but this looks really good. Uh, MX G01X Peach Girl, because um, I think uh, this is the, you know, uh, they say X because I know that they did a Nightbird. That wasn't available, but I'm not sure I would have gotten it though. Uh, but it did look uh, pretty good. This one is just so cute, you know, 16 plus. And then you have a, you know, some render and then drawings. You know, one thing is those legend scales, they, they have, uh, you know, nice compact boxes. So that's a plus. The instructions are good enough. That's what I'm gonna say. It's good enough. It's color coded, but there's a couple things that the, I don't know, could it illustrate a little better, but I don't mind them. Now as for the accessories, a uh, little gun, tiny gun, and there's a problem with it. Like you can see here, maybe you can't, but there's a bit of a stretch mark underneath here at the handle. That's cause this gun is painted, right? and this little sword isn't and this little hand is painted so the this will go in no problem it's tight but it fits but the problem is that the gun is painted and it's so tight that when i tried to put i actually did push it down further and it got stuck there like i mean literally stuck and then the you know the, the connection between the gun and the handle started uh, stressing and i had to use a blow dryer to warm up the plastic to pull that thing out so i'm not gonna put that further than this anymore but uh, taking a look at the figure itself she oh well there you go first qc you see that that's the pin it just slides in and out pretty much as it want. So I think that's too bad. 
and it didn't move until I actually folded this tab um, during transformation and after that I kind of you know I, f I actually found it on the floor so uh, but the the plastic tab here it stayed on so that was kind of weird and the problem with the hand being too tight because I think the interior might be painted I don't know but the fact that this is too tight means that when it connects in transformation, there's pegs that goes into that and it's super tight as well. So I'm, I have a little problem with the alt mode, but not too bad. I mean, she looks really good. If the paint is amazing. I mean, all this looks to be painted. It doesn't feel like plastic. Uh, the eyes are extremely nice. Love the eyes, the little mouth, you know, She's happy, she's having fun, she's young, full of life. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you know, the wheels serve as shoulder, it looks really good. Uh, paint on the arms, the details. Um, that the front end of the car, you know, she has a, for such a tiny little doll, she does have a, uh, you know, a big rack. So, and then the little hips, and she has cute little bums, you know. That's, I, it just such, it, it's a little baby figure. I love it. And sh the painting, the details on the shin looks really good. Painted toes. And then you have a little uh, heel, you know, to help stand. And it doesn't help one bit. She is top heavy. And she does fall, uh, you know, quite a bit. And then cleans up in the back. See, I have to put that pin. And now I can't glue it, right? Because then this won't move again. So I don't know. I don't plan on putting her in car mode anyway. So it's not going to be much of a problem. So there you go. So uh, there's a little paint scratch here. I think that's... Uh, it's very tiny though, so no worries. Uh, but, you know, it's a little disappointing. Uh, same here there's a little black dot on the hand you know just little tiny details well, I'm nitpicking really so and then put the pin back in you know what this reminds me now that I have to put that big ba pin back in all the time is that in the original Astro Boy well the or original colored I don't know if there was a black and white version but and then the dad when he would get upset like a pin would stick out of his forehead and he'd have to shove it back in that just reminded me of that so anyway, uh, articulation, she does have a full rotation. She has, you know, she doesn't look up, but she can look down quite a bit. Uh, no, no attitude. Uh, shoulders on the ball joint. You have like that double joint here, but for transformation, but she will do the Ferris wheel. No problem. There's a rotation at the wheel, the rotation at the forearm. Uh, it's tight. Some of the joints are really, really tight on this girl. Uh, rotation at the hand. Looks to be a ball peg. Yeah. And then you have the 90. No, oh, very, very straight 90 band. Uh, you have. You don't have a waist rotation. You do have. Well, I guess you could call that a rotation, but that's mostly just because of transformation. Uh, you do have. She won't do the Van Damme, but she can sit like a little girl, like this, you know. Eh, just here. Well, okay, the pegs are out, so it doesn't work, but uh, I'll take some pictures of that. And then you have a very, very tight knee. It doesn't seem... No, no, this has to go more than that. Hold on. Oh, well, okay, so we have that type of joint at the legs. Uh, okay, so maybe the other leg. Wow, man, that's so tight. Okay, I'm not gonna force it, but you probably could get a 90. And then you don't have a toe tilt, but you do have an ankle rocker. So there you go. Or is that the tilt? That's the tilt. I never... I'm gonna go watch more of Deluxe reviews. It's good for terminology. All right, so there you go. This is Peach Girl in her robot mode. Uh, let's do maybe some size comparison just to give you an idea. Okay, I'm not gonna shove that back too much. Come on, just get in a little bit. There you go. Just the tip. Springer! Oh, Springer! So 
So there is Peach Girl with her mom. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Uh, looks, uh, you know, she looks the part. You can see the uh, similarities with the uh, the gun. Take him. You know, it's a similar gun. You know, differently shaped, but still. Maybe move a little closer. You know, you can see the uh, similarities. Um, don't know where the blue sword comes from. Oh, actually, no, I do. I'll show you in alt mode why there's a blue sword. Here's another comparison with Siege Springer and my next review, Blueberry Girl. And now I'm going to take this little girl and transform her, put her in car mode. And I'm never going to do that on camera because she's a pain to transform. And uh, my hats to Deluxe who did uh, the whole thing uh, on screen. And you'll be the gunner! So here we are in alt mode, and if you look at it this way, she looks good. But there's issues. First of, um, while the gun, while the sword, sorry, the clear sword turns into the fin, it's a little big, but it's reminiscent of the actual RC fin. So, yeah. So, you know, it's something. It's good storage. Matches the clear window, I like that. Nice, uh, nice blue. Love the paint, you know, all the pink here. And then the lighter pink it looks good this looks terrible i have to say i mean these are seats so that's good but then you know it's big gaps so yeah and then you see pins sticking out here uh show you in a moment and then here the front end looks good light metallic uh, blue here but you do see the shoulder joint uh, connecting to the wheels. The wheels don't really turn because of how everything is not pegging super properly. Um, and that's mainly due because of these four pins here. I wish I could get in completely, but I think I might have reversed the hand here. So sorry about that. But uh, in the end, um, it wouldn't make much difference. I mean, the wheels here is supposed to turn, uh, but it's having a hard time. Well, this one, you know, does turn a little bit, but it's really thin, so this one here doesn't turn. The uh, problem is that I can't get the... This is like paint on paint, so... Or maybe it's just colored plastic, but it, you know, the legs really do feel like fully painted. Um, but that pin here just wants to come out. Same thing here, because it's really, really, really tight. Uh, but I have the same issue here. Uh, so I can get the end, I could get the end in completely if I apply enough force, but getting it out, it's going to be, I'm going to need again the blow dryer and I you know, don't really want to keep heating up the plastic. So this is as good as I can get it. Um, I would have to send the interior of this to be able to, uh, you know, clip everything together. So I don't know. I'm just a little disappointed. I mean, you can still see the the face. It just it you know goes up, but then you have the toes the, you know sticking down. So, but you know, nice uh, metallic blue again. So, I mean, it's not bad. I just would never display that in alt mode. So uh, there you go. So I'm gonna put her back in robot mode and uh, do the final thoughts. He's only kidding, but tell him you're only kidding. So there you go. Little uh, mother daughter type figure, uh, type picture. Looks good. I like this uh, little girl. She's uh, Peach Girl is a good uh, robot mode. Honestly, one of the cutest thing I've seen in the uh, Transformers uh, fandom. Uh, looks really good. Uh, she's nicely painted. Love all the details. Uh, the mold, uh, the you know, the robot mode looks fantastic. The alt mode is meh. Uh, I don't think uh, I'll ever transform her again. A uh, couple of QC issue with the the pin on the head and you know too much paint on uh, the uh, accessory and uh, the pins. Like all the connectors should not have been painted. So that's just my opinion. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.